Welcome back everybody. It is Bronwyn yet once more with Big Sky Diamond Painting here to talk to you about another unboxing. This is the other Cyber Monday slash Surprise Black Friday release that I picked up from Diamond Art Club. And if you can't see already, it is a Mandy Manzano and it is a painting that I've actually been hoping that they would turn into a painting for a while. So I'm pretty, pretty jazzed that they actually have turned that into a painting. So this is The Beast by Mandy Manzano. It's a 46 by 137 centimeter round painting. You can tell by its the logo that it's round. I am not super enthused that it's not the same size as all the princesses. At least I don't think it is. Forgive me if it is. I will own up across the screen if it is. But um, that's, you know, they've, they've been trying to do things like in more even frameable sizes, so I understand why it might not be, but it does mean that if I ever get to a place where I do all these paintings and I actually want to display them, it's probably going to involve some, uh, some uh, modifications of the actual paintings or something. So anyway... So, we have our standard round tool kit, which includes the pen, the two plates of heart-shaped wax, the grip for the pen, which you can't see, but I can see in there it's just stuck into the tray, the clear tray, the baggies, and it says there's a multi-placer in here, so give me a moment to search it out. Yes, there is a four-placer in here. So, um, if you are like really super eager to actually see the kit dumped out, just go look at one of my other videos. Um, there's plenty. The, the most recent Diamond Art Clubs that I unbox after I come back, came back in like October, um, or around Thanksgiving, those are going to be the ones that definitely have some, um, Okay, so here's our painting. It has what I assume is two bags of drills because they're poking out the ends here of the canvas. We get a inventory sheet that is also has a sticky backing so you can just stick these right on your containers, which is exactly what I do. And then it has a nice big image. And then you get this smaller image, which uh, a lot of people are using to put on the ends of the box and things like that, depending on how it, because if you store these in the box, which I do until I bake them, it is, is very convenient to be able to stick that sticker anywhere on here because this is only visible on the front. And depending on where you stack your boxes, if you can't have that visible, it can make it hard to tell what's in the box. And then you're just like, what's in the box? What's in the box? And that's just annoying when you're trying to find stuff. So, oh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get these out of here. Now, this one is definitely gonna be one we won't be able to see the whole thing in the, the screen. So, first we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my, my two bags of drills. We have two one and two two. They're rounds and, as usual, looking really good. Not super, you know, vibrant rainbow colors or anything because this is a very burgundy painting, but still pretty good. We've got 55 colors total, so, you know, it's, it's going to look great. We have our brochure with our step-by-step -step instructions and a discount code as usual. And what I am going to do is just roll this backwards right from the top. Even though, honestly, with one this long, 
you're really only going to have a little bit of curling at one end on the inside. See, like that. You're only going to have a little bit of it and only for a little bit because something this long is going to kind of unroll under its own weight is what you'll notice. The smaller the painting, the more it's going to stay, want to stay curled up. But the bigger ones, you know, they, they're going to uncurl more easily. So we're going to just do a slow pan from the bottom so that we can look at this. Again, 55 colors. It's really big. Really big. So this one, obviously, I was excited to get because I have the beauty. And I love that painting. Have not done it yet, but I can't wait. And then we have the beast. Now, the only thing that would make this better is if it was in a square, in my opinion. But we can't always get what we want. And, oh, God, he just looks so amazing. And look, I mean, okay, so look at the back background here. This is all black. It's not, you know, like Nightbringer levels of like black or anything, but you already have a lot of black in a Mandy Manzano painting. And then you just get this guy and he's got like black in his background. And just look at that great face though. I mean, this is gonna be just a beautiful, beautiful image to do. And I really think that this will be enjoyable to work on. It's going to take forever, but that is how it goes. So we are going to just pull it up a little bit at the side here just to check the stickiness. But I have yet to come across a Diamond Art Club painting that's not sticky. And as usual, that is exactly the Diamond Art Club glue that we expect. And then I'm just going to roll this up to the camera so that you guys can look at the symbol a little bit. They are always very clear. They do use training wheels on their rounds. So if you uh, don't like that, you know, that's, that is going to be a problem. Their training wheels are smaller than the drills, though, so if you are careful about where you set your drills, it won't be a problem for you. And on some colors, they just kind of put a different color in the middle than they do on the outside, but a lot of, a lot of them do just have training wheels, and that isn't usually a problem for me, but on some of the white that I've been doing in my Winter with DAC painting, which is Ice Princess, I have definitely been having to go back and make some shifts in my drills just because the, the tiny little outline is poking through a little bit because I didn't quite get it on point. So that is something to be aware of, but not a deal breaker, obviously, because, you know, the... If you are careful in your placement, it will not make a big difference. So it's really just a matter of having to be a little bit more, more aware of where you're placing things rather than being able to just kind of be a little bit more lax about that. So we're going to take a look at the drills. So the first thing you're going to notice about this painting is that there is a lot of black. That is because it's a Mandy Manzano and there's always a lot of black. The next thing is it looks like there's three Aurora Borealis. So a little bit unusual for a Diamond Art Club right now. I've been noticing that they have usually been doing two. Um, there is always variation. They don't have rules and even if they do have rules they change them all the time because they are always wanting to get better. So do not think by any means that, you know, once you've heard something about Diamond Art Club that it's set in stone forever because they will change it if they see fit. But right now I've been noticing most of their paintings have two Aurora Borealis colors. This one just happens to have three. So, um, and you can tell 
that they're the special AB drills by the fact that their numbers are below 150. So like these three up at the top here, those three you can tell. So let's just go through here. This is kind of a more, I wouldn't say muted because these, oh, and here's the first Aurora Borealis, that really pretty lavender, which I adore. I wouldn't say they're muted necessarily, but they're definitely kind of like more jewel tones. And there's a very pretty pastel yellow of an Aurora Borealis because it's it's kind of more like a a dark, a dark, color scheme, which is what I would say, than a lot of paintings that I, I normally do. And there is our third Aurora Borealis, which is a lovely pink. And once I get look through looking at these, I'm going to have to go back into the painting and see where the Aurora Borealis actually are. Looking at it, I'm guessing they're probably mainly in his cloak around the gem and maybe on the rose, but we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, and then we have our seemingly endless sea of black. So we'll count how many bags are in here. There's probably more, but if there's not, I'll, I'll be surprised. So we have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven big bags of 310. And then we have this lovely orange and this lovely brown. That's another thing I'm going to really love about this painting is the number of browns there are in it. Because I do, I do actually really like brown as a color. So you know what? I think that is actually the only, the only black that we've got. All right, so keep going through here. All this brown and yellow, really dark brown. Of course, we have some white. It doesn't feel like there's that much white in this, but I guess. Brown. And then we have our last string of accent colors. So oops, we've got, got a stray drill here, so let me make sure that none of our bags are leaking. So it doesn't appear to be, so I think I think we're safe to get back in here and look. Whoa, and try not to hit the camera and find out where our Aurora Borealis is going to be. So, one, two, and three are our AB colors. So, we shall... Okay, so up here is a bunch of one. So there's going to be some of that lavender Aurora Borealis up here in the, the sparkly miasma above his head. And then there's going to be a little bit of number three, which is the yellow in his brow and on his nose. So a little bit on his face and his beard a little bit. 
So he's going to have a little bit of a sparkle face. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, to look at everything. And then some pinks down here all around the glass dome on the rose. And I think that is where everything is. So, yep, and then some, there's some more of the, the yellow AB in, in the gem on his cloak. So, pretty much where I expected it. I wasn't really sure about the purple, the lavender, because the lavender looks like it could be down here too. It doesn't appear to be, so it looks like it's just going to be up in the the stuff on the top of his head, but that's going to look look really nice, so I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, I think that that pretty much covers it. I would love to see who else got this one on Black Friday or shortly thereafter. I think it's a gorgeous painting. I'm really excited to do it, and I was really happy that I could also get it while it was on sale. And I hope that you will leave a comment to tell me what you think of it. And someday I will have this one and the beauty completed and they will be displayed together somehow. Still not sure how, even though the beauty is square and this one is round. It's okay. It's, they're still going to be fine. All right. I will um, catch you guys in the next one. Feel free to like the video and subscribe, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.